Patrick, can you uh, tell us why you became involved with the International Federation of Poker and what your objectives are there? I was at the beginning very against getting involved with poker because my thought of poker was that it was nothing but gaming and gambling. But until I met some very nice lawyers in Switzerland who told me that um, poker is probably one of the greatest mind sports and having previously been a chess player, I then started realising that yes, poker is a mind sport and if poker was going to be treated as a mind sport and be competitive uh, around the world, it needed an organisation that can structure it and look after it. And therefore, with my background with FIFA and the IOC and things and understanding international sports federations, we agreed that we should set up in Lausanne an international federation of poker. And that is based on the other sports federations around the world that people would recognise? Yes, it's, it's under the Swiss Civil Code. It's just like uh, international federations like for bridge or go drafts. Um, we started in um, 2009 with seven founding members and we're now close to 60 national members. There is a definition, which I think is the one that Sport Accord adheres to, that no pursuit can be a sport if there's an element of chance built into the fabric, built into the rules of that p particular sport. Now, in poker, the deal of the cards surely is an element of chance. How is the IFP eliminating or reducing that level of chance in poker? That element of it has been quite key to us because we've been exploring the best way to get international competition, team competition, and we've come up with a concept which is called match poker. Match poker, I suppose, can be compared to duplicate um, bridge, where people are not having that random element of the cards because people in the same seats will be dealt the same cards. We've also taken away the cards because you actually now get it dealt on your iPhone. But by making team competitions and club competitions and other competitions based upon a match poker style gives that extra element to take away the randomness of the card delivery. What events is the International Federation of Poker responsible for promoting? Currently we have what we call our Nations Cup, which is based on match uh, poker. To win through to the Nations Cup, there are regional qualifications. We've had a European Nations Cup, Asian Nations Cup. We're planning an America's Nations Cup. So our World Cup, if you like, will be the Nations Cup, which will be the principal uh, national team event. But because we're now looking to launch match poker as leagues, very much like football, in nations, we will be obviously being having club events, we'll be having pairs, we'll be having foursomes, we'll be having a whole range of different international competitions that start at a national level and then work their way up to the international level.